Hello everybody, it is your friendly neighborhood Axe Whooper, and I am here bringing you a especially favorite game to me. It is, uh, I'll press the start button right now so you uh, what you can see. It's called, uh, sorry, Major League Baseball 2K11, and that is, uh, I just love baseball. This is, it's my game, I, I, I just enjoy baseball so much, so I'll, I'll, I'll bring you right now, here, I'll explain, for those of you out there who do not understand baseball at all, I'll explain to you, I'll just jump into a game, because it takes a little bit to find one. It's a great game, I personally, I love this game, just because I love baseball, that's just who I am, there, those of you out there, like, the game for you, maybe it's Madden, if you like football, like, who knows, in Madden, maybe you're a really good designated Asian, and, or, uh, all, all credit goes to Sugary right there. You're welcome. Um, or maybe you like WWE or you know any of it. Who knows? The NBA. If that's your, if like if you like that sport, I'd seriously go out recommend. Like especially if you know the uh, like the players in the sport and um, you know how it all works. Everyone in there that like then that's the greatest. Just I seriously recommend going out and getting like a, a, if you like baseball, then this game so much fun. Over the show, there's the show, and then there's 2K, two different rival companies. Not really rival, but they both make uh, Major League Baseball games each year. And 2K for the win. I'd seriously go 2K. Uh, I'll be right back. It just takes a, sometimes takes a bit to get to a game, so I'm just not going to make you wait through that. I'll just cut it, and then I'll see you right when it finds a game. Alright, so it seems to have just found a game. And I'll... Alright, I'm on the road. And, uh... I'm gonna choose my favorite team in the world. It is, of course, the Boston Red Sox. I'm a huge Red Sox fan, not just in MLB. Not, like, because of MLB for any reason. Love the Red Sox in real life. Huge Sox fan. And, uh, so much... I, I know exactly what to do here. I'm not just gonna choose random people. Choose Josh Beckett as my pitcher. Um... And then, alright, so I'm playing a National League team, which means there's no designated hitter. I'm going to kind of speak to you, like you as if no one out there knows anything about baseball. So if I say anything and you're like, of course I know what this is, little dumb fuck. Um, no, I'm explaining this in a way, just that way everyone who doesn't know, like I know my friend Axe, Axe Josh, or Axe Sugary. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> just made a huge mistake, did not put Adrian Gonzalez in the lineup, I meant to sub him for someone. But, uh, oh well, I'll just bring him in as a pinch hitter, but everything will be okay. Alright, so I am batting first, and, uh, you saw me just foul off that ball. He was probably just testing me, uh, actually, I don't know. Alright, so you see, that ball started in the strike zone, then broke out. It's kind of a guide, per se. Oof. Hang on, I just want to see, alright, I just wanted to check who the guy pitching was. Alright, right, let's no see what he brings. Right That's it, well done. Okay, so I obviously just hit a ball down the line. That's a most li most likely a double. Yeah, that's a double. Um, I just hit that. I'm happy for myself. Usually my first inning turns out to either be the worst or the best I have. Trust me, if this game turns into a very clutch game, then uh, I'll, I'll let you know. Alright, so you see I just grounded out to the shortstop. That's a position right in between second and third. And this right here, one of the best power hitters in the game, David Ortiz. Let's see what I can do with him. Not every time you're going to hit a home run, but let's see. Like a lot of times you'll just ground out, you fly out. I just grounded out with the second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Let's see what I do with Ortiz. And that is what it called a ball. Like the counts are balls and strikes. If they will get three strikes on you, then you're out. And a strike is when the ball, you see the ball miss the strike zone, which is that square right in the middle. If it's in there, it's a strike. Alright, he walked me. And if there are four balls in a row, or not in a row, if there are four balls, then you get a free pass down to first base. So here's Euclid. Alright, just uh, fouled that ball off. And th these games tend to be... Alright, just lined one out into the gap. That's the gap right between the center fielder, as you see Stubbs coming in, and the left fielder. Alright, so I clearly pro... I, m I most likely would have been thrown out if I had tried to score David Ortiz at third base. So as I said, talking as if you guys are beginners, you could be pros for all I know. 
and there are three outs to um, the game, and then inning ends, and then see other, and then like do swap sides. Okay, so I have just scored three runs, and I'm I'm just gonna give this guy this third, uh, second or third out, just because sometimes, uh, I don't like to make people like. I don't like to be beating them so much that they decide to quit. Cause like in this game, if trust me, I do it all the time. If I win by like if I'm losing by too much, just getting beat, I just quit. So I, I like I want to keep this game going. So I'm just gonna give him these last uh, this third out right here. Swing and miss at everything, and if I hit a ball, I'm just gonna keep running until he throws me out. It's a strategy. It works. So I'm gonna show you me pitching during the first inning and. Oh, probably should have swung at that if I wanted to get at it. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you my pitching side of the inning, and then I'm gonna come back every few innings, maybe three, like maybe I'll maybe it's the first inning. There are a total of nine innings, and that's how the game goes. It's no time limit. All right. So as you see, I just grounded out to the sh uh, second baseman, and just threw the ball to first for the out. All right. So now it is my turn to pitch. My pit, I chose my pitcher of choice, Joss Beckett, because uh, compared to all the other pitchers on the Red Sox, I feel he has the greatest stuff, which is stuff is the, like it is the, leg the legitimate term that baseball uh, officials use to talk about a player's a pitcher's like their pitches all is called their stuff. I feel yep, you heard the you heard him say right there, harness that stuff. He is the greatest pitches like w watch the spot right here. It's called a curveball. It's it's gonna drop a lot. And not all the pitchers have the... Alright, there's a bit of lag right there. You see that pitch? Boom. That's really hard to hit if it's, like, if it's a good one. Especially if you throw a hard, then soft. That's really not that easy to hit. It's all about timing pretty much in this game. See, so got him swinging, missing on a slow pitch. Now I'll throw a fast pitch and let's see if I can blow it right past him. Yep, exactly. You see, he swung late right there because... So now, um, this leaves him thinking a lot, so let's see, I think I'm going to throw it right on the inside and then have it break in on him, that's the two seam fastball, so that way he swings and misses. Oh, alright, he took the ball right there. That's what I like to do sometimes, and now I'm going to do pretty much the opposite, see if I can get it to cut the outside corner. If he comes back and plays oh, ball, yep, really just play. barely. So, cut fastball. I'm just going to have it look like a strike and then break. Let's see if he'll take this one or swing and miss. Or put it in play and then field into the out. Yep. It, that I can't really blame that all on him. There's some lag there, so it's kind of hard to swing and make contact on the lag. But anyways, he's swung and missing that. I'm going to see if I can just get this guy out. Just by throwing the same pitch over and over, which really this game is about strategy and see he swung and missed. I'm just gonna throw the same pitch, same fastball, and then the last time I'm just gonna throw a changeup, which basically looks the same coming out, except it's a lot slower, maybe about 10 miles slower, and that's a lot in baseball. So you see, he's it could just mess him up totally. Yep, I had him swing way early. He except he did not early enough so that way he missed the ball. But just really enough. All right, same pitch, same location, except this one's gonna move, causing him probably to hit it, maybe a fly ball or a ground ball. Since it's high, most likely a fly ball. Let's see, or strike out. And he took the pitch, struck out. All right, so I'll see you guys back in maybe the third or the fifth inning. All right, everybody, it is back, and now just the third inning. I have Jacoby Ellsbury back up at bat, and. Swung a miss. All that's changed pretty much in the score since um, the first inning since I've seen you guys is uh, I actually allowed a home run to him, so now the score is 3-1, and as you can see, I just singled into right field. You know what? I think I'm going to play this game sort of like a, uh, a sports commentator, if you ever watch sports. All right. Breaking ball. Down and away. And action, and that's, that's stupid. I'm not going to do it. All right. Yep, he just threw the ball too low. What happens is the catcher can actually, um, he can throw guys out if they're too far off the base. Like, the, the base is their safe zone. It's pretty much, it, I'll put this in COD terms. If a, if a guy is on, is sa guy's safe in his spawn zone, and his spawn zone is the base. And uh, if he leaves his spawn point, then he is obviously in enemy territory and can be killed or, in baseball terms, thrown out. 
Oh, that's me. I knew it. I, I, I could tell. I saw that guy put the pitch right there. Boom. Cranked a home run. Now winning 5-1. Right? But a lot of times I like to give up a couple runs because in the end I like to play it like a real game. So that way I would get to bring in my uh, my closer who is Jonathan Papelbon. And in my opinion, the best closer in baseball right now. Obviously, those of you who know baseball will think Mariano Rivera is. But in my opinion, now, nah. um, Pappy all the way. And he can't make the play. This could be All right, I just hit a double. I think I'm going to give this guy the out, after, obviously, after hitting a home run. He might be a little tempted to quit, so I'm going to give him this out so uh, he doesn't feel too rageful. This is, this is trust, trust me, this is a, like a legit way to play the game, and it's smart. So now I'm pitching. I'm going to see if I can get him looking this first strike or swinging, whatever. I'm just going to have this pitch to try to clip the inside. All right, he took it. This is exactly how I play. I'm not playing any different to impress you guys. This is how I play normally in a game. And, oh, crap. All right. So, if I don't know if you guys remember, but earlier in the beginning of the game, I uh, said that I missed, like, one of my better bats. Well, so I am just going to bring him in. That's Gonzalez. He's probably one of the better play. Like he's he's definitely one of the better players, um, in the major leagues right now. The best first baseman overall in the American League this year. And uh, so yeah, he's on the Red Sox, my favorite team. Very lucky to have him. Very, like that's that's the thing about baseball. You're very lucky to have like a good team if you live by. Because I I, li I live near Boston. Or fairly near Boston, if you put it into perspective. Ah, oh, God. A lot of hit. Um, if you put it into perspective. But, like, because there are... There's a total of, uh, I think, 30 teams in the majors. In baseball, at least. I don't know. I'm, I'm not... Oh, crap. But, okay. So, um, as you can see there, the pitcher backed up. So, he didn't get to take that extra base. So, but people like me who live, like, in an area and favor a team... Like, you can obviously favor anywhere, but if you live in an area... Where like the team sucks, uh, like it's the, there's more chances of that happening. Cause the way the baseball works is there are three, um, there there are total of two leagues. There's the American League and the National League, and the, what the leagues mean, they really don't mean. There's no difference except one league the pitchers hit, and one league they don't. But in both those leagues, like it's there's no like there's simply it's as simple as you, some teams go there, some teams. Go, some teams go American League, some teams go National League. It doesn't have to do anything with where they live, but it's only in the U.S. So, in the way that works is those two teams, those two leagues, are split up into uh, are split up into three um, divisions: the American League East, the American League Central, and the American League West. And that's based on like time zone and stuff. Um. So then, that. All right. Uh, this looks like it could be a third out. No. All right. So then, how that works is the best team with each record on like each division. Those are the teams that get selected to go to the playoffs. The best team with the best record in each um, league. All right. So I just finished this inning. I think. All right. You know, I'll, I'll continue talking about this in the. I'll see you guys back in say the seventh. I'll see you then, and I'll finish talking about this then. Okay, everybody, I am back, and I just completed the seventh inning. And obviously, as you can see in the score above, things have changed. Uh, he has gotten four runs since the last time we have met. I have gotten three. And he only got the four runs because I slightly, th I like, I stopped caring just because I want it to be a situation where, um... You know, it'd be a safe situation for my closer. I'll explain what that is when it gets there. I'll, I know I said seventh, but eighth and ninth, those are the two most like more more descriptive innings I could use to describe to you. So I'll, I believe where I was at last was I was talking about how the uh, postseason works, and the postseason is like playoffs. All right, so how it works? I was talking about how the best. Um, team in each division. They all play each other in the American League, and each team in the National League plays each other. They rarely play other teams from each league, but in divisions, it doesn't matter. 
All right, so the best, the team with the best record in each of the divisions, American League East, West, and Central, same National League, National League West, Cent uh, Central, those teams go to the playoffs. In the American League playoffs, but there's there's one more key. There's called the wild card, which is one more team that gets to go to the playoffs who has the best overall record in each league other than, like, and they're not in first place. So that way there's fourth uh, team in the playoffs, and that way it's like a fair game, like 2-2, two -two, and then the two best of those. So how that works is then there, then there, there are those four teams. Like, I, I don't really know how they choose the teams who play against each other in, like, which alignment. But, uh, so there's the division series, where there are two different series, like three, potential three-game series. I... Just hit a home run with Gonzalez, the guy I wanted to bring in, who I was talking about earlier, the best first baseman. So, um, then those got so each team, there's the division series, and then the winners of the division series go on to the championship series for each league, and then the champ, and then the winners of each championship series play each other in the World Series, and that's how the postseason works. Okay, and actually, perfect timing on my part. The um, eighth inning is now going to its bottom half, which is where I'm pitching. I'm bringing out my starter, Josh Beckett, and bringing in what is known as a setup man, who's just, who's like one of the better pitchers in the bullpen. And uh, this guy actually throws really fast, and it's fun to play with because um, I know this sounds wrong. He throws a he throws a hard fastball and then a slow slider, which really gets people off balance. So as you see. Boom, 98, and then I'll give him another 98. I'll change up my location, making it harder. Put this one down and in. Boom, 98, and time to get him all swinging in front by giving him a slider, which is a lot slower. See, swung way early, and everything was up. Oh, what's he doing? Okay, so. Um, yep, I was talking about how he was swinging early. Sorry, the guy paused the game. I had to cut that out. Um, oh, just a lot of hit. Oh, God, that's the one downside to playing a National League team where the pit where you don't get to have a designated hitter because the pitchers hit. Is that you have, to, like, so I had to change around my lineup and my positions. Because normally that guy I have in right field is Gonzalez, who I was bragging about and stuff, who I hit the home run with. Um, he's normally the first baseman, and the guy I have playing first now, Ortiz, who I also previously hit a home run with, is usually the designated hitter, so he doesn't play the field. So when you're playing a National League team, I like to change it up, so that way I can have both of them in the lineup. And they both hit home runs tonight. And I got them both recorded for you. So, um, it was great example So, this time, I'm gonna go with slider and then another slider. So that way this guy's wait, he's timed to swing early, and then come back with him with a fast fastball boom swinging late you see blew it right by him exactly how it works and this time this is kind of complicated or not really complicated at all this is just mixing things up again they're gonna go a fastball boom I don't really know how his timing was there I try to get him swing early check swing but that was called a strike just throwing it around for fun you know what I'm saying all right so I just went Oh god, what all right, so just went slider and then now, as I said before, blow by him with the fastball. Boom. Struck out the side, that was a perfect example for you. Alright, and then moving on to the ninth inning. Alright, so here he is, he's pitching against me. And it's now not a save situation. And a save situation is uh a save situation is when so there's the it's a situation where um, a team is winning by a, like a certain number, and a save situation is only when a team is winning by three. Oh, I just got hit. This game's got everything for you. A save situation is when a team is winning by three runs or less. So then they have what's known as their closer, which I'll show you mine in just a bit for the Red Sox. And I'm, you know, I'm just gonna get these out, get this inning over with, and get this guy going. Boom. All right, double up, two outs. So uh, the closer is usually the best pitcher that they have, which they save for the last inning to close the game out. And he earns the save of the game by just finishing off the game without, like, losing it, without losing that three or less run window. So I'm just going to swing and miss or just make contact and get out. Because I kind of just want to, you know, 
get to ninth inning and just pitch my guy so that like, it's like a legit safe situation. Counts one, two. Here comes the last pitch he will throw. And most likely, yep, just going to bring it to the bag. All right. So here is my closer. Bringing him in. See, it says on the side closer. Jonathan Papelbon. He has great stuff. You know, I already explained stuff and everything. He has what's known as a split changeup. It's awesome. Just just watch how this pitch works. Alright, he took that, but that that's a great pitch. Usually I like to go with a certain sequence. I like to go two seam fastball outside. Like trust me, I, I have pitched this guy so much. Alright, that's a foul ball. Two seam fastball outside, then sometimes splitter or, sp or uh, split change up. Boom, splitter. Looks like a strike. The drop straight down. It's fast, and then I like to finish him off with a high fastball. Oh, made a contact that time. Crap, that's gonna be a base hit. I have no way to stop that. All right, that was just. I got. I gotta give it to him that time, because nor normally no one hits the balls when they're up that high. Okay, I seem to have a habit of blowing things in the ninth inning with my closer, but I recently have been. Wow, pitches are not going where I want them. Right, you know what? Bring splitter in the strike zone. There you go. That was actually really close. This control is not where I want it right now. God damn it. Oh, this is getting intense. This is getting really intense. All right, this is getting a perfect game to put on YouTube. It's now really, it's now two run, two run deficit, as he just said. All right, he's now super anxious to hit, so this is going to be easy to get out. Boom, yep, you see he's chasing everything. Watch me, high fastball. Boom, got him swinging. All right, there you go, got one out. going to go splitter. Swing line to left oh shit, this guy is, this guy's nailing my pap. A pap a bon. Let's see if I can just get him out. Alright, two seam fastballs down and in. Those are pretty good actually. Alright, I'm gonna go with the split change. There you go. And then where do I go? You're right, the high fast. No, actually no, I'm gonna change that up. I'm gonna go slider, breaking out of the strike zone. All right, and back to my high fastball. Oh wow, this guy's going. <laughs> Gotta give it to him. He's gonna make me work. There we go. Got him chasing on that slider. Baseball really is about deception and movement on the pitches. Oh shit! All right, so this is actually really intense right here. If he hits a home run. Right now with this guy right here, then he wins. That's called a walk-off win. That's when the home team like just comes to the ninth inning. Oh shit! Oh shit! And uh, walk-off is when home team gets their winning run in the ninth or extra innings. All right, no, you, you, I got this. Don't even need to explain that. High fastball. He knows. This guy knows where I go. <laughs> Um, I don't think he'll fall for this. I'm just gonna go fastball right there. There's a swing and a liner. Shit. And there we go, the winning run on base. This could actually be really close. Great way to end the game right there. Got thrown out at home. That is a great game. Alright, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this game. Look at the hit. Oh, man. Great game. I really enjoyed this. Star player of the game, Josh Beckett, right there. Alright, this is a great game for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Axe Whooper signing off.